Here we're going to input check marks into cells with a double click and inputting a value directly. And here we have a nice little to-do list. And when we finish an item, just a double click. And there we go. It is as easy as that. And when you're done with it, double click again, and it goes away. But you can also just hit the delete key and make it go away. Now, what if you want to use the keyboard to input it nice, quick, and easy? So you're just keying around. Well, that is also very easy to do. And once again, just delete when you are done. Or input with a keyboard and double click to get it out of there. So how do we do that? It is so easy. The first way with a keyboard is you go up here to the Home tab and look at my font right now, Marlette. Set it to that. And then go down to your cell and input A. That's it, A. So look right here, we see a check mark, but look up to the formula bar and A. So the easy little trick is formatting. And hit enter and your A is a check mark. I really do like the double click method I'm about to show you, but it is kind of nice to be able to key through it and just enter a check mark really easily like that. But now let's get the check marks working in the code. So we have to use a little bit of code to have the double click but it's not that difficult. So you want to go to the sheet where you want the check marks to be able to be input with a double click and right click that sheet, go to a view code and just copy paste this code here. So go to my website, download the file and copy and paste it. And the only thing that you have to change is this range reference right here. So B3 to B6 is, we can hit the little green button here to go back or Alt F11. B3 to B6 is B3 to B6. So the range where you want the check marks to be input with a double click. So if I click down here, just enters the cell. And the same for any other cell in the worksheet. So find your range for the check marks and go to view code, copy and paste this and change that part right there. And all this does is change the font of those cells. And if an A is in the cell, it will remove it. If it's not in the cell, it will add it. And that's how the check mark gets in there. And the cancel equals true. That's a really great thing. That's so we don't end up in the cell after we double click it. I'm not going to explain this anymore, but if I do make a larger tutorial, like a to-do list tutorial or a little course, I will explain this in depth because you can do a lot of really interesting stuff with VBA and macros. And this is really just the tip of the iceberg. But this is how you get the check mark feature in there. So change your range, copy paste it, and you are good to go. And you'll have a nice little list with check marks.